RT International. Now, for the second time in three days, US police have fatally shot an innocent black civilian. This time, a 12-year-old boy who was shot in the stomach by a policeman at a playground in Ohio. The youngster later died in hospital. Officers thought he was carrying a lethal firearm, which turned out to be an air gun. This particular type of weapon is powered by compressed gas and fires small bore like aluminium or plastic pellets. The boy allegedly refused to put his hands in the air and instead reached into his waistband, which is when one officer pulled the trigger twice. Police had been responding to reports of a male brandishing a weapon there. Well, on Facebook, the police say the toy gun had its orange safety indicator removed. Such stickers are required on all imitation weapons so they can be identified as non-lethal. Before the boy was shot, a caller had twice told a 9-11 operator that the pistol was probably fake. Well, there was a similar tragedy only last Thursday when a rookie New York cop gunned down an unarmed 28-year-old man who was also black. The city's police commissioner said the victim was, quote, totally innocent, calling the incident an unfortunate tragedy. He added that the policeman's gun may have fired by accident. The NYPD officers were patrolling a housing project and met the victim on a darkened stairwell late on Thursday. And there's already a racially charged atmosphere regarding black civilians being killed by police. In Ferguson, around 100 FBI officers have been deployed to the city, which is still awaiting a grand jury verdict on whether to charge a policeman with shooting dead unarmed teenager Michael Brown. The bolstered security force joins police and National Guard troops there as speculation grows that the decision could be announced during Sunday. Earlier in the week, a number of people were arrested during two successive nights of street protests. But it 